Hey guys, this is uh, Tech Answer Guy, and I'm going to give you some instructions on how to use Firebug to debug the blogger template. Now, if I am looking at one of my blogs, this is uh, Crazy Meal Productions, it's a blog about video editing. If I load up Firebug into my, fu my Firefox, you'll notice I get this nice menu down at the bottom of the screen. The crosshairs I have going on here that you see are part of the Orca screen magnifier, which is a uh, little toolkit to help disabled folks. Right now, what I have is the uh, Crazed Meal Productions blog, and I have Firebug loaded in the bottom part of my browser. The neat part of Firebug is that it allows you to do some inspection of the CSS. Now what I did was I clicked on inspect and when I scroll over a part on the page Firebug will actually bring me down to the place in the HTML describing the HTML element or the CSS element usually a block element that the mouse is covering. So for instance if I scroll up to the title Y Cinellara, you can see that it is in the Firebug. It says H, uh, it's an href, it's a hypertext reference. Part of the reason why I wanted to explore Firebug is that I wanted to narrow down the margins at the top of the page here. Notice that around the heading Crazy Mule Productions and the subheading that there's a lot of extra white space, in this case blue space. So I wanted to narrow that down. If I highlight my Crazed Meal Productions, I see that it's an H1 and the class of it is Title. And that class Title, if I move over just a little bit, you can see that it's within the Title Wrapper. So let me do that again. When I scroll from the title wrapper, that is the block container, and I scroll over Crazed Meal Productions, you'll see that an H1 tag is revealed with the class of title. In my other browser window, I have a blogger template. Let's try to find that H1 title in the blogger template. If I click in the blogger template and hit Control F, I'm going to just type title for find. Lo and behold, here I am. I'm at the H1 title element in the blogger template. And if I, I notice that the first CS element is padding top of 38 pixels. Hmm, well, that's a little bit too much. So I'm going to remark that out. I'm actually going to replace it with a padding top of 10 pixels. And let's do another preview of this. Click Preview. Notice that up here my uh, Crazed Mule Productions blog is loading. Lo and behold, uh, that element, I've narrowed down the uh, top padding to 10 pixels. So that looks much better. Now I want to fix the bottom part of the title. So if I again go to Firebug, click Inspect, and as I'm scrolling over the page, you can see that Firebug is opening up the different CSS and HTML elements that I'm scrolling over. It's really neat. It's a great, great tool to pick apart your HTML and learn about CSS. And um, if I go up, you can see again, uh, this whole, this whole area is uh, within a header wrapper. And then if I scroll to this area, it is uh, the description, is, it's a description wrapper. And of course, if I go to here, the paragraph tag has a class of description. So let's go to the blogger template again and look for description. Okay, we've got, uh, that's uh, a couple of variables here. We don't want that, we want to get to the CSS. Header description, that looks like what we want. And we can see right now 
that that there's a padding of 40 pixels and we don't want that large amount of padding we're going to reduce it to 10 pixels and I just I had done this earlier uh, before I started this tutorial so all I did here was uh, copy the original line and uh, change the 40 to 10 pixels so now if I preview behold the white space around my header is narrowed down and thus there's more space for my the text on my page very good hope you enjoyed this little lesson and see you again soon